If your product descriptions are long and include large blocks of text that are spread across multiple collections or items, you might want to consider upgrading your style to a tabbed one. By organizing the shape of the descriptions, you'll help maintain the customer's focus, while allowing them to easily navigate the page and discover every bit of information in a cleaner manner. Because sometimes it just makes sense to separate a product's technical description from the less important shipping information or even the useful Q&A section. Improve your website's usability by creating tabs. Start now with the help of the Vitals Product Description Tabs app. There are two types of tabs that you can use in a product description. Automated tabs and static tabs. The first type is a dynamic tab and it doesn't require much customization in our app, except for selecting the header type and adjusting it in your product description. For instance, if I want to add a new tab in this product description, which is washing instructions, with the content to be washed by hand, the tab title should be marked as heading 4. Once I've done this, the tab will automatically show up on our product page. Going back to the app, it's important to mention that automated tabs are suited for organizing product-specific information, such as ingredients, technical specs, instructions, and so on. However, if you want to add tabs to multiple products at once, you should opt for creating static tabs. Let's consider this example. Your store sells both shoes and dresses, and you want to display one size chart for the shoes and a different size guide for the dresses. What you'll need to do is to create two static tabs directly within the app. Once you've created a new tab, you'll need to add a title and the content. Then you can decide whether to make it visible for all products, for selected product pages only, or just for products from specific collections. The static tabs can also be displayed and organized by dragging and dropping them from the symbol over here. Once the app has been activated, you can go to your store to see how everything looks. I just force refresh the page to clear the browser's cache faster. This is the first tab, which was automatically rendered by adding content to the product description. As you can see, right here at the top, the first section of text has a subtitle that reads description. Even though we didn't add a heading above this content, it appeared automatically. Then we have our two automated tabs, the details tab and the washing instructions tab, followed by the static shipping tab that we looked at last. Now that you've seen how to create product description tabs, let's go back to the app so I can show you how to further customize the look of your new tabs. You can choose between displaying the tabs vertically or automatically. Auto means that if the tabs can fit horizontally on the screen, they will be displayed as horizontal tabs. If not, they will be shown vertically. You can also decide whether or not to keep the first tab visible when a page is loaded. You have a few themes that you can customize as well. Furthermore, you can create a dedicated tab displaying product reviews from the Vitals Product Reviews app and also show the rating and the reviews count in the title of the tab. If you found this video helpful, make sure you subscribe to the channel as we post new videos every single week. If we can help with anything, please let us know. Our customer support team is available 24-7. Thanks for watching and see you soon.